Hello everyone and welcome back. Today um, I'm sharing a carpet bagger style journal, a single signature, um, 84 sides front and back. It measures um, five and three quarters by eight and three quarters, maybe close to five and a half. It's quite a lot of um, bits um, edges over the edges so I can't tell exactly five and a half by eight and three quarters um, I've got some bows uh, sorry silk bows on the back with a boho bead um, that I've made this lace is vintage lace and it goes round to the back of the journal and we've got a little charm on the front here some buttons and a sari silk tie um, I'm not sure at the moment whether this will be in my Etsy shop or not. I might. I'm not sure, but um, obviously if you go there, you'll see it if it is. Uh, right, so it's a quick look inside. So I've used canvas um, on the inside and this is scrapbook paper with vintage lace over the top. Same paper as this, uh, which I can't remember the make of that one. But I quite liked it. We've got tea dyed paper. It's quite full, this journal. I'm in um, a sort of decorating mood at the moment. Um, I've got some scanned and printed receipts. So they're not authentic. And I've used um, my porch prints um, digitals in here, um, which I really love actually. I really liked um, both sets that I bought even this tiny envelope um, I put a tiny little snippet on it and this is my porch prints and a little cardboard postcard in there so that sits on that pocket I've used um, pages from the Sarah Midder book um, we've got some charms I've just used punched flowers as I've done on the front and little heart charms mainly I think um, on the pages this is lace over vellum uh, everything I think is por my porch prints um, this is not attached to anything this is just a fussy cut that I've popped in there so obviously that can be removed if you prefer it some vintage book page um, this is an envelope with a vintage postcard in there. I can't read the date, but I would guess it's the 1920s or 30s. Um, the stamp is a halfpenny stamp, so it's pretty old. <laughs> we have had halfpennies in my lifetime, but um, not for a very long time now. This is some old notebook paper. I've used um, a couple of these vintage library cards with some snippets that I've put together. Book page, this, oh, this one I did pop in because I thought the colours just went so beautifully with it all. Um, this is a Mrs Cog uh, printable from, I think it's the Motherhood collection. And again, we've got a heart and um, a flower punch in there and I've used some tiny tiny little eyelets in those um, punches this is more of my porch prints this one I think I've cut from some scrapbook paper little butterfly charm on that one this is a book page tag and um, Tracy Fox labels. This is just there to decorate the page and to tone in with the pinks. And we've just got a heart on that one. This is the centre. Pink that side. This is the Edith Holden centre. Um, this was an idea that I saw Angela Kerr do. Um, she used packaging and um, acetate, which I hadn't got. So I've just die cut um, a frame use, using two um, rectangle die, dies together 
put a little bit apart to cut the frame and I cut two or three and I've glued them together to make it look like a frame. A little snippet on there. It's a decorated guest check. This is from My Porch Prints again. And there's another tiny little envelope here with a snippet and a little card in there. This is a faux ledger page. My porch prints and I've done a snippet tab. Um, I didn't look, I think this is 1922, is it? Or where's the other side? I won't be able to find it. There we go. I can find it. Yes, 1922 ledger. These are all sewn onto tea dyed paper. This is another of those. I've done it slightly differently. I've torn the edge of the vellum this time. And a little, little tag on that one. Um, this is decorating a glassine envelope. It's just glued on to give the page a bit of decoration. This is an altered um, envelope with another journal card. It's from 1962. And this could be a floating pocket, but I decided to glue it in for a change. Um, embossed that so made it out of a book page and in the back we've got another of these library cards with a snippet and what was originally a blank postcard somebody has um, very roughly cut out a photograph and stuck it on there <laughs> that was me I'd do it a lot neater than that so anyway thank you for joining me um, again and I'll see you all again soon bye bye